Good morning, good people. Can anybody tell me what Paul had in mind when he said that he was called to preach unto the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ? Unsearchable. The mind stands bewildered by the word. Unsearchable. We have sometimes assumed that it meant unfindable, but there it is, unsearchable. It is as though we were told that in addition to the diamonds hidden in earthly mines, the myriad orbs that make up the Milky Way are smothered with them, but we cannot go to seek them, the un unsearchable riches of Christ. It occurred to me to consult the later translations. Dr. Weymouth renders it the inexhaustible riches of Christ, inexhaustible, a gold mine that work it as you will never peters out, a bank account on which you may draw and draw and draw to your heart's content, but that will always show a huge balance in your favor. Dr. Moffat renders it the unfathomable riches of Christ, unfathomable, an ocean not of water but of wealth. But it is to Dr. Rendell Harris that I go for my last thought, for that great scholar has translated it the unexplorable riches of Christ unexplorable. It is another excursion into infinity. We seem to be standing on some dizzy mountain peak, shading our eyes with our hands and looking out across continents so vast that Australia and Africa are mere atolls and islets in comparison. Here is not only the unexplored but the unexplorable, the unexplorable riches of Christ inexhaustible, unfathomable, unexplorable, unsearchable. I urge you to pause a moment this morning to appropriate to yourself the unsearchable riches of Christ. Let us pray. Now unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen.